The Innovation Center of Nanomedicine, uh, called ICON in short, launched in 2015 under the operation of Kawasaki Institute of Industrial Promotion to facilitate the research connecting nanotechnology and medicine. As you know, uh, especially in Japan, we are now in an aging society. So uh, there is, of course, a prolongation of the uh, lifespan. But unfortunately, uh, many of them are not always in a healthy condition. So we would like to make uh, these people to live in a very healthy condition by the invention of the system uh, named uh, in-body hospitals. To realize the in-body hospitals, uh, we need uh, tiny medical instruments which can always circulate in their body and autonomously carrying out uh, detection, diagnosis, and therapy. So uh, these uh, tiny uh, medical instruments are named nanomachines. We are aiming for the life with in-body hospital in which we inject nanocapsule that circulating uh, in, in our body and detect diseases in early stage. Eventually, the nanocapsule can prevent all diseases. So if you have one in the future, um, you can spend the time uh, without concerning about any diseases. It's going to be a long journey. However, we believe in body hospital is not dream at all because we have a core technology. We need many things to complete in body hospital, such as smart researchers, huge capitals, cutting edge technologies. In order to integrate these elements here, we're going to launch startup incubation system. We already established uh, three startup companies, and these companies are succeeded to raise over 15 million dollars already. Brazil Therapeutics is developing the technology for the crossing the blood-brain barrier to deliver the drug to the brain. Brain does not allow to any molecule unnecessarily to the brain. It makes it difficult to the developing the medicine for the serious disease. We have the solution of that. Our company's vision is we would like to be leading a company to deliver the drug to the brain. We always say we would like to be the company like Intel in CNS field. As you know, any computer has an Intel platform. It's the same, you know, the story we have. The CNS disease drug has our technology in their, you know, product. For example, most of the medicine which uh, launched from the pharmaceutical company in the worldwide employee plays on technology to deliver that drug to the brain. It is a very, very uh, fantastic dream for us. We would like to be the global company. That is our vision. So ICOM has a vision uh, which we aim to be the hub of the healthcare research complex in a global standard. The research team are from many different countries, so very big diversity. And they are, of course, very good in the research, but uh, we implement them with very strong entrepreneurship. Sips. We are doing here uh, cutting-edge research using uh, state-of-the-art instrumentation such as in vivo confocal microscopy for pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics of drug delivery systems in living animals. We are housing mice and rats including various kinds of disease model like tumor cell transplantation, transgenic mice which develop Alzheimer's dementia, or surgical models of spinal cord injury, and so on. We have several communal devices like NMR, micro CT, two photon 
high speed confocal in vivo microscope and IBIS, which we can observe accumulation of emitting or fluorescent dye to target cells like cancer cells in living animals. Innovation Center of Nanomedicine is a global site for the nanomedicine in the worldwide. Most of the worldwide researchers came to here and have a discussion with anybody in this you know, facility. That is also the very, very good uh, chance for us to expand the network. This institute is uh, originally built upon the concept of under the one roof, where we have biochemical room, animal facility, administrative office, and even the director office in the same building, where we don't need to go anywhere to do our research and also to discuss with the administrative staff. Our institute is opposite side of Tokyo International Airport. And now bridge is under construction. So uh, within next year, we will be connected directly by this bridge, which of course have a very strong connection with overseas communities, which makes this institute very global. And we are ready to be a world-reading innovation hub.